Hi guys, that is Ramzikum. Welcome to my new blog post, blog post 16. And in this blog post, I'm going to discuss about the advanced filtering option in the stack bar chart. So how we can actually utilize it. Before moving on to that, uh, let me give you a glimpse about the current uh, bar chart that I am utilizing. So right here in this visual, uh, I have a unit price by product stack bar chart. On the y-axis, I have list of products that are coming in. And on y-axis, oh sorry, on x-axis, I have the unit price which is coming in. So when I will talk about the advanced filtering process, it means like I would like to apply the advanced filtering on the y-axis, on the textual uh, context of the dimension. So whenever I will um, go to the filters of this visual, uh, I have various filter types, like uh, for the for a certain dimension, I have, uh, we, uh, I have basically three main types of filtering process. Uh, first one is advanced filtering, then basic filtering and top end. So our focus is more towards advanced filtering now. So just select this one. And when you will select the advanced filtering, uh, it will, give you a list of various options that actually come under the advanced filtering process, sorry, advanced filtering option. So it will give you the contain, does not contain, starts with, does not start with, is, is not, is, not, is blank, is not blank, is empty and is not empty. So let us play with them one by one and let's see what will happen. So the first option is the contain. So what does the contain mean? So contain means, uh, let us understand it and understand this by example. So I have uh, various products that are coming in the Y axis, right? And they have different names like road 150, red 48, road 150, red 52, and so on and so forth. So if I see that I really, I really would like to see only those products and their unit prices who have the word road in their uh, name. So I will just need to write the word road. And after once I will write it down here, I will click on the apply filter. And on the fly, it will be give it will give me the road, all the products that are actually that, that actually contain the word road and they, these products will come in. And let's suppose uh, I would like to see like all the other products that are other than road. So how can I actually do that? I have the option of does not contain. So when I will click on the does not contain, it means like I can actually get all the products who does not contain the word road in their product name. So I will click on the apply filter and I will uh, I will get all the products that are actually coming in over here, right? Other than the road, uh, other than the road name, right? So uh, there's an other option, which is, me, which is actually starts with. Start with, uh, starts with means like, I need to get all the products who actually start with the name of road. So it means like I will get only those products who are start, starting from the road. And uh, whenever I will, and it also means like any other product which actually contain the word road within the product, it will, not, you, uh, it will not be filtered out. So when I will click on the apply filter, so I will get only those products that were coming in as starting with the word road in it. Next is like does not start with, it means like uh, road can uh, come in the middle of the product name. It can also come at the end of the product name. Um, it is not, uh, and, uh, and all the other products that actually, um, and all, uh, uh, and all the other products that actually they, they might not contain the word road. They can also come in. They, they can also uh, come in, but uh, 
the row, all the products who actually starts with the word road, they will not be filtered in. So when I will click on the apply filter, you will see that all the products that are coming in here are not starting from the word road. But road as in the middle of the product name is also coming over here. Now, uh, now there is a word is over here. So what does that mean? It is just like an equals to sign. It means like whatever you will write here, it will equally match the product name over here. So it will uh, right now, if I, I will apply the filter of uh, is road, it means like I am saying like I need to get all the products who are basically uh, who are basically road not starts with does not contain it doesn't mean anything it means like simply equals to road like product name is equal to road so whenever I will click on this I will click on the apply filter I will get the blank result so uh, let's suppose I have a product name over here and I say like uh, it is uh, road dash 150 red comma 48 so it's a product name so let's see whenever I will click on that live filter so it is giving me the state of only this product it's only specific to the point result uh, now then there is an uh, negation of this one as well like it's not so it means all the other products who are not equals to road 150 red 48 so when i will however i will click on the apply filter i will get all those uh, all the other products over here now uh, coming uh, like right now there is there might be a few products who uh, who have, who are actually basically blank in their name right now there there, there is none so Whenever I will click on the apply filter, it is just giving me a blank result. But if we'll, if I have a visual in which there is some kind of blank value, blank value involved in the dimension side, it will showcase the data over here. So it's not blank means like all the data which is the, the which does not contain the blanks, and same goes with the is empty and is not empty. The basic difference between the blank means space and is empty means like if there is any nullable value is in your data set. So this is how you can play around with your textual data by utilizing the advanced filtering process. Um, uh, to some extension, I really would like to um, give you a filtration option of the, I would really would like to elaborate the filtration option with respect to the unit price. So unit price is basically a mathematical term. So when you will talk about searching out the data with respect to the ma mathematical terms, you will get uh, a simple um, expressions like is less than, less than or equal to, greater than, greater than or equal to, uh, equals to blank or empty or not blank. Uh, so you will get these options. So uh, like it, these are the mathematical expressions. Like if A is greater than B, then showcase me this. So for example, if I will say like unit price is uh, less than 500, I would like to see only those products which are, uh, which have value of less than 500. So uh, let's see what will happen. I have these products that are coming in. The max out value is 500. And, and these, this graph chart actually contains only those values which are less than 500, right? What if I will say like uh, less than or equal to like, while value 500 should also be included in the bar chart. Then I, I will click on the apply filter and uh, nothing has changed. So let's suppose like I really would like to add some here, uh, like thousand. I click on the apply filter and the value. Okay, again, there's nothing equals to thousand, but it means like uh, less than and equals to the value, the max out value, which is actually showing over here. It should be 
contained in the filter. Same goes with the greater than. It means like all the values, uh, all the products which are, uh, which have the unit price greater than uh, 1000. So whenever I will click on the apply filter, I will get all the products having value um, more than 1000. And if I would like to give an equals to, like uh, greater than and equals to, it will give me the same result because every value is actually greater than 1000 over here. Well, I will click on the apply filter, it is giving me the same value. But if there is any product which who has the unit price equals to the 1000, it will come over here. Then uh, I say that I really would like to see only the products which are equally to equals to 1000 rupees, then I will uh, $1,000. So I'll just click on the, or I have written on the 1000 over here and I will click on the apply. Right now, since I don't have any value, it is not showcasing me anything. So let's see, like uh, if I say like, uh, uh, let us choose some integer value. I don't have any. So let's say like, uh, I would like to see this value 3035.88. So 3035.88. It means like, I really would like to see the products who have only this as a unit, unit price. So I will click on the apply filter. I think there's some kind of bond of issue. Still not coming. So we can actually assume over here, like uh, it's is means like if you have an equals to value, you will actually get the information over here. You guys, uh, there is some kind of problem going on with uh, the is filter of the on the mathematical terms. So let's uh, let's move on with that. So for example, I would like to add another value over here, and I say that is not uh, like the value. All I would like to see all the products which does not contain the uh, does not contain the value of two 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 one as a value as a unit price. So whenever I will click on the apply filter, I will get all the products other than the uh, set, um, other than the, other than these values, uh, other than that 2221 value. So this is all about the advanced filtering process about the, you know, within the stack part chart. I hope so. You will like this video. You will learn something in it. And thanks for watching my video and please do not forget to like, subscribe and share my YouTube channel Yasser Fazal and please do not forget to hit the bell icon so that you should get the latest video as soon as it is uploaded and as always please spread the knowledge. Thank you.